Executive Customers' Dirty Little Secrets. If I'm trying to make my written analytic product as relevant as possible for my executive customer, there are some things I have to keep in mind. So this seems like as good a time as any to share some insights into what your senior customers really want from an analytic product. The first thing to remember is that, generally speaking, executive customers don't care about the minute details of an issue. They are often big picture people, focused on the forest and not so much on individual trees. This is so mainly because they don't have time to get down into the weeds. So unless you're specifically told otherwise, do not feel obligated to tell everything you know about the subject of your written product. At the same time, they do want to understand the complexity of an issue so they can make fully informed decisions. This makes sense, doesn't it? Because everyone, no matter how senior, has to answer to someone else, and nobody likes to be exposed as an nincompoop. This is why most cabinet members who participate in the president's intelligence briefings get briefed separately beforehand so they can ask their questions before the big boss asks them what they think about an issue. Not being prepared in that situation may be the worst case version of being called on in school when you haven't done your homework. Getting back to what this means for you, it puts a premium on clear communication. A big part of making your work relevant is knowing what your customer needs to know. For those of you who've been writing for a while, it's probably not surprising that tailoring your written product to your reader is a difficult part of the process. So I want to spend a little more time thinking about what your customer needs to know. I've purposely chosen to use the expression needs to know here versus wants to know. That's because sometimes the customer, especially an executive who's not conversant with the nuance of an issue, doesn't know what he or she needs to know. They're counting on you the expert to help clarify their thinking and give them a relevant answer. This is why sometimes you'll hear questions from on high referred to as fishing expeditions, or that the customer will know it when he sees it. Sound familiar? These kinds of comments generally portend torment for a writer because they indicate that the customer, or minion making the request on his behalf, is at sea. No matter what you produce, it will inevitably be wrong. It is a sure sign that you need to ask more questions up front to zero in on what the customer really needs and make your written product as relevant as possible. Sometimes you don't know what the big kahuna wants, or if there's a broader group of higher-ups with different tastes, or if the thing you're working on is going to a wide and diverse group of readers. It's on you to find out. Begin by asking yourself, is this product an update of an existing situation, or is it something new? Are you being asked to reflect a policy change? Or are you going to be analyzing an issue, offering recommendations, or both? It's important that you have the confidence, or at a minimum, the willingness of one of your bosses, literally, to go up the chain of command and ask questions of others who are in positions to help you understand what the senior customer really, truly needs. Executive assistants, deputies, and other subordinates close to the principal customer often have insights into their boss's interests and existing knowledge that you may have no way of knowing on your own. They are potentially valuable sources of relevant information that you ignore at your peril. Think about it. What's the worst that could happen if you deliver a written product on topic X to a senior executive without asking any questions of people in the executive's immediate orbit? Well. What if you got feedback from an executive assistant that he or she could have told you to avoid writing about X because the executive hates X, or to focus on Y because the executive only really cares about Y, if only you'd ask? Asking a few questions up front would have completely refocused your writing and avoided a big mistake, right? So don't focus solely on thing one, clarity, at the expense of thing two, relevance. If you're able to answer questions about the nature of the written product and the needs of your senior customer with confidence, you'll be well on your way to crafting a clear and relevant message. Which leads us to the third essential thing in effective analytic writing, impact.